Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Ski Dude and it's time for another Let's Build a Ski Resort video. Now today I have decided I want to finish these buildings. Now this one's pretty much finished but I think I might add a second layer. I don't know if I'll do that in this video but I definitely want to finish this building, decorate the inside and actually decide what I want to do with it. Um, for this one I want to finish the roof and I was also thinking, let's make it a little bit brighter here. I was also thinking of maybe making a little shack that breaks off of the stairs and moves up into there where our silverfish party was. I've turned off monster spawning so I don't have to deal with those anymore. Um, but I have decided that, yeah, I want to finish this building so I'll be working on the roof. And we need to figure out something for the walkway here so that it doesn't get covered in snow. And I have a couple ideas. We'll just try them out and see how they work out. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I figured I did want to finish this video, uh, not this video, this building. So I went ahead and just started working on the roof. And I put some stairs upside down, figured I didn't like that, so I put them right side up. And uh, did a couple layer of stairs up the, uh, the roof to kind of give it that sloping effect instead of just a big square. Um, but I may change it because when I look at it afterwards, I may take off one layer of stairs because it does slope quite a bit. Um, for how big the building actually is. So the roof is actually maybe a little bit too big. Replace some windows. Now I put a chimney on here and as soon as I lit the fire I'm like this is gonna burn down. <laughs> so I hurry and take it away. Um, I'm not quite sure if that would actually start it on fire but uh, I figured what I'm gonna do with the stairs is I'm gonna fill in underneath with just the same color of wood and I'll end up putting some uh, I guess banisters on them later so that you can't run over the edge accidentally. Um, so I go ahead and just replace all the wood there and then of course I get sidetracked and I have to start a new project. So I wanted to first of all make these uh, I guess support beams for the mountain a little bit more realistic, put some wood in there. Not, I guess it's not really realistic that a piece of wood is going to help hold up a mountain but I like the look of it. Um, so I go ahead and decide I want to build like a big lodge because at any ski resort there's multiple lodges where you can go in eat, um, have a good time, there's going to be fireplaces and things like that. And uh, I just tried to remember some of the lodges I had been to on some of the ski resorts. So I first, for the entryway, I make these big aspen pillars. Um, and I want to use the lighter wood with the aspen just because I like the way they work together. They're both kind of a lighter tone. And uh, I haven't decided how big the building is, so I decide just to work on the entryway. And uh, <laughs> doesn't last very long because I do end up going on to a different project. Um, I guess I'm somewhat scatterbrained when I come to this just because I get random ideas while I'm building. Um, and one of them was here, you're actually going to see later in this video, is replacing most of the ground and mountain with snow. Just because it is going to be a ski resort, so we are going to need more than just a light layer of snow. So I start working on the roof, get to about there, and you know, I'm like, you know what, let's finish the walkway. So I run over to the walkway and I'm I've decided to help cover it I'm gonna put like I said in the previous video I'm gonna put an archway and I don't like that one because it is a little bit too big so I just decided to keep it one block high <laughs> and I did add some more stairs up on top there but I ended up taking those away just because I don't like the way they look um, and I you'll see here I end up trying to take this covered walkway up the stairs but it doesn't really work out and I decided not to in the end just because it, it it's it seems too cluttery for me for how I guess little space is there for how small the staircase is to have this huge covering and whatnot over over top of them it just didn't look right to me so right here I start, I start building up thinking I'll just go up one block at a time make it look good and I slope around at the building and then I afterwards off camera I realize you know what that doesn't look good at all let's just take it out and then one more side project I get ro not roped into but I decide to do is put the banisters on the stairs so instead of having the fence posts go all the way down I decide just to put them on the side of the stair block so that uh, you have something to hold on to you don't fall or slip over the edge like uh, in any stairwell you almost always have uh, banisters and I start working on this door here I'm still not totally satisfied with it once I finish working on it um, but yeah this I mean yeah, this is what I've got so far 
All right, guys, so I had this idea, and my idea was to replace all of this mountain with snow blocks, just because I do like the way the snow looks when it falls on it, but at the same time, underneath the trees, there's not gonna be snow, and if it's gonna be a ski resort, we're gonna need some snow. So, I've looked around, and World Edit has a replace feature. Now, I'm a little scared to do it, just because either one, I could crash the server, two, it's going to replace all the trees with snow, so I'll end up probably having to replant all the trees, but I think it's worth it. So let's let's give it a try. Um, we'll just do a quick little spot right here, and we'll see how it turns out. So this replaces all blocks except for air with what I tell it to do. So like that, that little thing won't be replaced, so let's try this. Place 80. Hmm. Turned out okay. Like I said, the trees are going to have to be replaced because the trees are going to be turned into snow. But at the same time, I also kind of like the mixture of snow blocks with uh, dirt blocks. Just, I mean, the whole thing doesn't have to be snow blocks, but I do want the majority, at least underneath the trees, to be snow blocks just so that there is snow everywhere. So let's work on doing this. Um, so if I do that there. This is going to be a big one. This this one should turn out interesting. I'm going to come back here to this right there. I'm going to go like this. Sheep! <laughs> Looks like we marooned the sheep. Jump sheep! Jump! There we go. Alright, so let's take a look. I, I mean, it's... I like it. Works for me. Like I said, we will keep some dirt parts in there, but for the majority, at least underneath the trees, we need this to be snow. So let's click here. Uh, let's go right there. Okay. And I'm doing this in semi-small chunks just because if I do make a gigantic air, well, I guess the undo feature would fix it, but... Uh, Let's get some snow in our inventory. And let's make it daytime. Okay, so let's, let's replace these couple small blocks here and there. Get some snow. Now let's work. Where have we done it so far? So we did it right there. So let's do this. this. <laughs> it's funny when the trees turn into snow. Alright, looks good, looks good. Let's, uh, we can keep that dirt there for now. Uh, let's do this, that one, to that one. Okay, looks good, looks good. Now let's work here. It's gonna be a big one. I'm gonna go all the way back here. See how this turns out. Yeah, well, didn't turn out like I planned because I didn't go as high as I planned. Good work. Good work. Alright, let's try this again. So if we have that over there. Now we are gonna use. We're gonna build something up. Uh, let's do it on this tree. Oop. Okay, so let's right click that. Oh. Just screwed it all up. Alright. That over there. We're actually going to go a little bit further over here. I'm going to click, right click, right there. 80. <laughs> I mean, the snow covered trees kind of look cool. Um, could work out. Let's go ahead and destroy our noob tower here. <laughs> Looks like a huge blizzard just blew in and all the trees are overflown. Hmm. Kind of like it. I don't know. Maybe we'll keep it like that. Alright, uh, that's good. Let's jump over to this side of the mountain.
Okay, let's uh let's go ahead and head over here. Um, let's get let's get the majority of this mountain in one fail swoop. So we're gonna start way low, let's say right there. And we're gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here, see how this turns out. I don't want to hit my buildings with this, so we got to be careful. Uh, let's try it right there. This one could be... Ooh, we hit the side of the building. Oof. We're going to do that. We need to move a point. Let's move it right there. Okay, we missed our building. Mm, now, I, I mean, I do want to keep some rock in here as well, so let's do that there. And this here. Okay, let's go take a look, see, make sure we didn't destroy one of our houses. Looks good. All right, now a couple more. Oops, first position there. <laughs> Looks like we hit a tree. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking. All right, well, I'll work on replacing this off camera. But anyway, let's take a tour of what we built today. So we did, um, we did finish the roof. Uh, put in a doorway. I'm not totally sold on it. I don't like this wood on top and these stupid window panes aren't connecting to the door like I hoped they would. And that looks really tacky, so I'll have to figure something out there. Put doors in here. I'd, <laughs> yeah, it, I think they should make window panes connect to the doors, but I guess the doors aren't lined up perfectly, so. Um, still need to decide what some of these buildings are. I'm guessing this one, I don't know. The one I started over here, let's go ahead, oh, let's look at our little covering, worked out well, I like it. Um, this was going to be, or it, it is going to be a giant lodge, uh, where you can come eat, hang out, there'll be some fireplaces, things like that, that looks like a cow fell to his death, and uh, so that's my plan over here, started the front of it, I wanted to make it an aspen lighter wood look, and uh, Maybe, so you can see, I did put a, uh, a chimney on top of this one, but I was pretty sure that would catch the wood on fire, so if anybody knows, I don't really want to test it out and log back on and see that my house is burned down. So if anybody knows if that's going to catch fire or not, let me know, just because I do want to add chimneys to most of the buildings, just because I do want to make it feel like they're kind of self-heated with uh, chimneys and... Uh, fireplaces and things like that so let me know um, if that's going to catch it on fire because if it is maybe I'll just make it out of stone and we'll have a stone fireplace going down because realistically that's what you would have in a real house is a stone fireplace that would be running through your um, house and we're probably going to want to add maybe another support beam for the mountain right here just because you know giant side of the mountain is supported by nothing um, added some more supports here, made it look like we'd helped stabilize the mountain. Um, and I started replacing this with snow, and that's where I got the idea to replace the whole mountain with snow. Which will take me a little bit longer to finish, <laughs> and we'll have to replant some trees. I actually do like the look of those, but I do want to have some real trees in the mix as well, so... We may just keep a couple of them like they've been snow blasted and then replant a couple next to them. Kind of give it a good mix. And uh, I guess just a little update. The ski mod is coming along very nicely. Um, Oxy has been working very hard on it. We're getting closer and closer to the first beta test uh, where it will just be skis. We're going to be adding new mobs uh, and some food, maybe some different uh, armor. So look forward to that. And as always... Um, Thanks for watching guys, this is Skidude. This was my new skin I make the video for. I know a lot of people are like, well I don't see shading on that. But I guess my definition of shading is there are different colors in the blue and the stripes and whatnot. And I do like how the helmet 
or my ski hat is on the helmet layer. So thanks again to Timmy the Squid, and as always, thanks to everybody else that watches my videos, comments, likes them, and spreads the word about my channel, about my animator, and everything else that I try to support on my channel. So as always, thanks for watching, thumbs up, rate, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.